Hey guys, welcome back to another Next Level Lawn Care video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a two week update for our Next Level Lawn Seed Challenge. And it's pretty exciting. We've got great uh, growth and germination across some of these varieties of grass seed. And uh, there's still some to go and some more maturing of the plants to go, but let's take a look at it. So as you can tell here, we've got in the front row right here, we've got our tall fescues. The middle is our Kentucky bluegrasses. And then the back row right now is our perennial rye grasses. And there has been quite a bit of uh, growth that's been taking place, especially over these last couple of days. Um, the SS1000 turf type tall fescue blend has come in very, very nicely, as well as the uh, Stellar, which is the back right corner back there. The Stellar 3GL perennial ryegrass has come in very well, um, and the Slugger has come in very well. These are all at the 14-day mark, so we planted all of these 14 days ago. We started to see Initial germination at about the three and a half day mark on some of these some were a little slower than that the Kentucky bluegrasses Didn't really start poking out until about Day six and then they've kind of just stopped um, Probably probably through day seven they kept growing but then they kind of slowed down quite a bit There is still a fair amount poking through this right here is the Everest, the SS 1100 Kentucky Bluegrass blend, the Bewitched, and then the Scots uh, Kentucky Bluegrass mix. As far as the tall fescues, um, what has come up is growing very nicely. This SS 1000 blend from Seed Superstore came in very thick from the beginning. There is still some baby grass blades in there. If I if I peek down in, I do see some down there that are just, you know, barely a quarter of an inch maybe just poking through. So that's gonna get quite a bit thicker still, as well as the Amity and the Regenerates. They both have quite a bit of germination still to go. I can still, still see some seeds and uh, some baby, little babies that need to poke through still. So I think all three of those are gonna come in very nicely. I don't think we're gonna need to do any overseeding at all on any of these um, boxes or any of these varieties. They've all come in enough and there's still enough germination left to take place that they're all gonna fill out very nicely, I believe. The slugger came in super thick Take a look at that. This has come in very, very thick, and there's still some germination to take place. I can still see some seeds down in there that haven't quite germinated, and some little babies that are still growing up, so. I think that these are all getting to the point where they could use a little trim. So probably tomorrow, I would say I'm gonna come out here and trim all of these taller ones back. Actually, probably all of the back row and the front row are gonna get a little trim, um, which will help promote some more growth and deeper rooting in each of these, so. Well guys, I don't know what happened there. I was just editing this video and somehow I lost the last part of it there. Um, I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching though. Like I was saying, we're probably going to get this cut tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, I thought about making some little box that I can drive a lawnmower up onto and go over the top of these boxes. Maybe I'll just cut it with scissors. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how that goes. Um, one last little look here. These guys are all doing great. I'm super excited. I can't wait for these bluegrasses to come in for sure. Uh, that's going to be nice to see how those look and how those fill out. But I think everything's doing well here. 
If you guys are just watching this video for the first time and you're not sure what's all taking place here, check out my other videos. Uh, these are uh, nine of these are elite grass seeds that were purchased from seedsuperstore.com. Um, and then the other two, the Scott's and the Ace High Traffic are just your big box store, uh, typical grab a bag and go kind of things. Um, those two from the box store were start, Those two from the box store were fertilized with a starter fertilizer from Scott's. The other nine grass varieties were all uh, started off with the green pop from the next DIY line and then they have the RGS in there as well. Those are going to be following the seed starter and overseeding uh, pack from next DIY fertilizers and uh, the other two are going to get more malorganite from this point forward. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of, of these and how they're doing. And uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything, please throw those in the bottom and hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out uh, throughout the winter and it's going to be uh, a lot of fun doing this and showing you guys this stuff. Thank you. We'll catch you next time. Bye.